how to battle. And in light of a new contest that has come up, I decided to make a official and detailed bot tutorial video on how to pose bots efficiently. So what you need is an unarmed bot. I always start with an unarmed bot and an invisibility function at times, depending. And I'll start with a full show me Yiga. Why not? So for one thing, you spawn your bot and you right click them. You get this menu, which for some people for most people, all the options won't appear on screen. Depending on what you're doing, you won't need all the options. I'll get there. So first we're gonna add the uniform. You add that by right clicking. And the don't add the gun for what I'm gonna do. So for what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change GOI scale to small and do forward rotation. Then I'll stretch their legs a little bit. Then their left hand to the side there. And then we can go back to normal. Next, I'm going to take this ocean of invisibility. Splash them. Do not pause. Do not freeze the bot. You have to. You have to put the invisibility potion on them before you freeze them. And you can put the gun in their hand before or after you do that. Press F to put the gun in their hand. Next, I'm going to rotate the gun using the yaw to rotate the entire body. And then these ones move Z, moves on, moves the bot on the Z axis, X on the X axis, and Y on the Y axis. These are of course the coordinate axis in game in Minecraft. So basically going to customize this to make it look like he's holding it by the sight. As the full stream Jaeger do. There we go. And then I can rotate the gun, obviously. Using Z. And there you have it. A running full stream Jaeger. Let's customize their arms a little bit more. Like that. There we go. He's running with an FG42. Simple ish. Yeah. Simple. Another thing is closing bots holding rifles. Just holding them in general. You take your own bot and you dress him up. And you give him a Ross rifle or any rifle you want. And basically, how you make him hold it right. You go X to like 83, 86 to 91, and then put it as far as you make the figure, and then put their head to where their cheek is against the stock. Now you have a bot holding a rifle in a firing position, of course. Last but not least are bots on machine guns. There are two different ways to do this. Um, one way I prefer to doing and prefer doing is making an invisible bot or you can just press P to place down a machine gun and then bots will automatically link up to it. You have to right click them twice to freeze them. Once one right click gets them off the gun. And this one will be the best example because the stock's gonna be going straight through them, but it is what it is. We have our Italian, and we can pose him holding the spade grip of the Raid of 5C. Which, yeah, I could have done better, but it's kind of late. So here he is, kind of holding the spade grips. You can do a lot of things, like you can have him. The, just the gun anywhere. You can, this is even how you make stuff sit down. If I can get a little block, 
real quick stairs. And I grab a bot. Oh. No. So, put an Italian helmet on him. Throw an invisible potion on him. And then you can do the Y axis. You might do it might need to do it a couple times. And you can adjust the helmet by leaning correctly. And there you go. An Italian helmet. On a table. That's basically how you get props. Same can be said for just about anything. Uh do you keep in mind though if the bot is like in a solid block too much? Oh, I turned myself this one. Oh, never mind. Uh, in a solid block too far, then it will um, make the model go black like this. So I want to have it standing there, but if I go too deep and the model gets dark, be wary of that. One way to fix that is, of course, going to GUI small and rotating the bot to where their, their body isn't inside the ground. But that's how you can uh, pose guns too. Most of the time, when it decides to work, uh, I'm not going to take the effort to rotate the bot. But yeah, there's a gun. Mm -hmm. So I hope this tutorial will help you win this contest. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to be participating, but I do hope that this. Yeah, no, I'm not participating, but I do hope that this tutorial did help you win. Um, help you understand how to pose bots in Call of Battle 2. See y'all later, and goodbye.